I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on calculus. Let us discuss how to find maximum and minimum value of logarithmic and exponential functions. Here we have four examples. The question here is find maximum and minimum value of each function. A. f of x equals to 3 ln x over 5x when x is between 1 and e. B. f of x is ln x over 2x when x is between 1 and e square. C. f of x equals to x plus 2 whole cube over e to the power of x when x is between 0 to 2. And D. We have given open interval f of x equals to x to the power of 4 over e to the power of x. Now it is important to understand that whenever we have a boundary condition for finding maximum minimum, a closed interval as given in first three examples, we will surely have absolute maximum and absolute minimum, right? So, so in these three cases, we are looking for absolute maximum and absolute minimum. In this case, we are looking for local maximum and local minimum, which will be at the turning point, right? So uh, that is kind of uh, thing which we need to appreciate. Now let's begin with the very first example. And we have slightly changed this question here. Find absolute maximum minimum value of the given function in the given interval. So the function for us is f of x as equal to 3 over ln x over 5x and the interval is between 1 and e. So we need to find the derivative of this function, the critical numbers and test the values at the critical numbers and also we will also test the value at the given boundary conditions. right? So let's find the critical number first. So the derivative of the function here is equal to, well, when you're trying to find the derivative, this is a constant 3 over 5. So we can keep this uh, constant outside, correct? So 3 over 5 we can keep outside. And then we can find derivative using the quotient rule in this case. So that will be x squared. Derivative of ln x is 1 over x times x minus derivative of denominator which is 1 right times ln x so that gives you 3 over 5 here we have 1 minus ln x over x squared now from here, we have one critical number in the given domain, right, which is when ln x is equal to 1, right. So, so this f dash x is equal to 0 for 1 minus ln x equals to 0 or we have uh, ln x equals to 0. Uh, sorry, ln x equals to 1 and that means x is equals to e to the power of 1 which is e. Correct? So that is possible when x is equal to e. Correct? So that is when we get this critical number. Now we will actually find the values of this particular function between 1. 1 is coinciding with the limits which we just found. right? e and 1. Correct? So let's find the value of the function at 1, which is the lower boundary, and also the value of the function at e. e coincides with our, uh, one of the boundary conditions. So when I substitute 1 here, we get 3 ln 1 over 5. Now ln 1 is 0, so we get this value as 0. And the other value is uh, 3 times ln e over 5e, correct, 5e. So that gives you the value of 3 over, ln e is 1, so we get 3 over 5e. So clearly from here, 
this is always a positive quantity it is going to be greater than zero so we get absolute minimum find the absolute minimum and maximum value right so x minimum of zero at x equals to one and we have absolute maximum of 3 over 5e at x equals to e. Is that clear to you? So that is how we are going to solve this question. Let's take up the next example which is very similar. So you can now pause the video, answer this question and then look into my suggestions. So purposely, I have taken this very similar example. Now this is basically for you to practice, right? So we have uh, almost the same function here. And the interval is slightly different. So we are now looking for the value of x between 1 and e square, right? So as we did earlier, derivative of this particular function will be, we'll keep this half outside, right? So that really helps. And then applying the quotient rule, we have x square here. Derivative of ln x is 1 over x times x minus derivative of x is 1 times ln x, correct? So, so that gives you the value as um, half of. And uh, here what we have is x and x cancel, 1 minus ln x over x square. Now, within this interval, so we are actually focusing on the given interval, right? So, within this interval, we find that uh, f dash x is equal to 0 for ln x equals to 1 or x equals to e, right? So, that is what it is. So, we have a critical number. So, the critical number is x equals to e. Now, x equals to e is within this particular interval and therefore we will now calculate the value at three functions uh, three points so one is at one right the second one will calculate at e the critical number which we found and then we'll also calculate the value at e square right so let's calculate these three values so when i substitute one here we get ln one over two x rather two so ln one is zero so that is zero for us when I substitute e here, we get uh, ln e over 2 e, right? So ln e over 2 e, so which is 1 over 2 e. And then e square, which will be, when we substitute here, ln e square over 2 times e square. So that is 2, right? Over 2 times e square. So 2 and 2 cancels, so we get 1 over e square. Now let's find the, the value, the decimal values, and then we can compare which is maximum, which is minimum, okay? So we have 1 divided by, within brackets, 2 times e, which is equal to 1.8, 1.8, 1.18 let's write 4 okay and the other value is 1 divided by e square which is 0 0.135 right so uh, so those are the two values and clearly from here we get our answer and that is comparing the values the minimum is of course zero so we have absolute minimum which is uh, let's write the coordinate point so at x uh, x one we have zero right so one zero and absolute maximum will be 0 0.184 which is at e right so we can write this as e and uh, 1 over 2e correct 
Now, when the question says find absolute maximum and minimum value, we should actually write the value, correct? So we have absolute uh, maximum value as uh, 1 over 2e and minimum as 0, correct? So that becomes our answer. The next question here is, find the absolute maximum minimum value of this function. So the function now is given to us as x plus 2 whole q divided by e to the power of x. The interval is from 0 to 2. So let's find the derivative of this function. So again, we'll apply the quotient rule. And what we get here is square of this, so e to the power of 2x, derivative of this is 3x plus 2 whole square times e to the power of x minus e to the power of x times all this, right? So, so we have x plus 2 whole q times derivative, which is same as e to the power of x. Now we can simplify this, taking e to the power of x common, and also we can take x plus 2 whole cube or square common. So we're left with 3 minus x plus 2 over e to the power of 2x. So we can simplify cancelling this term, right? So we have uh, x plus 2 whole square and this becomes minus x and 3 minus 2 is 1 so basically you have 1 minus x so that is negative in this interval and we have e to the power of x in the denominator okay so that becomes the derivative for the given function now from here we do get critical points at minus 2 and uh, so so we can write critical number x equals to minus 2 and x equals to 1 right so in this given interval which we are talking about we'll be only interested in this not this correct so we'll neglect this okay so this is external to our given interval. So I'll use the point 1, 0 and 2. So now let's find the value of this function at uh, uh, 0, right? So at 0 we have uh, a 2 cube over e to the power of 0 which is 1. So this is 8, right? And now let's find the value of this function at critical number 1 which is uh, we have 1 plus 2 whole cube over e right which is 3 cube is 27 27 over e so let's find this figure 27 divided by e is equal to this is equal to 9.93 okay and then uh, we have the value to find at 2 so let's also find f of 2 here which is equal to uh, 2 plus 2, 4 cube, right? So we, let me write 2 plus 2 whole cube over e square. Okay. So 4 cube, so we have 4 cube divided by e square. And this value is equal to 8.66. So we have very close values here. Okay, so from here, the minimum is at uh, this value and the maximum is at 1, right? So, so those are the two answers. So we have absolute maximum is equal to 9.93 and absolute minimum equals to 8. Now this happens at x equals to 1. This happens at x equals to 0. Okay. 
So that is how we could answer this question. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Now let's take the last example where we actually have open interval. So you saw that in the closed interval, we always have absolute maximum minimum values. And the idea there is to just calculate the values at the critical number and the extreme points. Now let us see how to do it when the interval is not given to us. Well, we can use the test of the first derivative in the given interval to figure this out. So, so first step, let's find the derivative of the given function, which in this case is x to the power of 4 over e to the power of x. So the derivative for this function is derivative of this is 4x cubed times e to the power of x minus x to the power of 4 derivative is e to the power of x over e to the power of 2x, right? So e to the power of x is common and x cubed is also common. So we can say x cubed and e to the power of x is common and we're left with 4 minus x over e to the power of 2x. So we can cancel these components and we are left with x cube times 4 minus x correct so those are the two factors so for critical number the derivative should be zero or undefined so it is zero it means that x is equal to zero or x is equal to four so those are the two critical numbers correct so now we'll analyze the first derivative uh, in the given intervals so we'll now analyze so test intervals So uh, what we have here is, uh, we'll make a table, two points where the derivative is zero. So these two points are at uh, zero and four. So basically, because of this, we have interval, which is uh, from minus infinity to zero. This is from zero to four, and then we are from four to infinity, right? Now, in these intervals, we will check our derivative, right? So, so the derivative here is, is basically, I forgot to write e to the power of x here. That's fine. So, that is the derivative. So, what we have here is, let's write down the, the factors which we want to analyze. So, we have uh, x cubed. We have 4 minus x. And we have e to the power of x. Now, as far as x cube is concerned, if we take a negative value, so let's take a test point also. So test point in this could be minus 1. Test point here could be 1. And then we can take 5. Right. So, so those becomes the test point. We'll write these as test points. Is it okay? Now, within these... In this interval, if I do minus, we'll get a negative value. With positive, x cube will be positive. Now, if I write minus 1 here, we'll get a positive value. Plus 1 will also give me a positive value. Anything more than 5 will give me negative value. e to the power of x is always positive. Correct? So, so if you analyze this, then what do we get as our result? 1 negative means negative all positives and one negative means negative right so we are testing rate of change right we are testing the first derivative so first derivative when it is negative it means the graph will be coming down in this right so graph will be downwards positive means graph will be going upwards and then again graph will be going downwards right that is f of x so clearly from here we have local minimum and we have local maximum correct so so we have our maximum and minimum values correct so we can say that now from this result we have local maximum we can start with minimum at x equals to zero right so at x equals to zero and we have local maximum at x equals to four is it clear to you 
So from the testing of our derivative, we can actually figure this out. So let's find the value now. Substituting x equals to 0 here, we do get f of 0 as equal to 0, right? 0 divided by anything. And the value for f of 4 will be equal to 4 to the power of 4 over e to the power of 4. So let's calculate this. So definitely a positive value. So 4 to the power of 4 divided by uh, e square is equal to 34.645. Okay. I did a calculation error here. I used e square, but it was e to the power of 4. So let's recalculate. So we have 4 to the power of 4. And then we'll divide this by e to the power of 4, right? Last time I divide by e square, so e to the power of 4, which is equal to 4.688, right? So this is uh, equal to 4.688, right? So we have, uh, in this particular case, the minimum value is 0. We'll say local minimum, right? of 0 at x equals to 0 and local maximum of 4.6 at x equals to 4. Perfect. So that is what we'll get for this particular case. So I hope you appreciate and like this approach. We did solve four examples. Three of them were with given closed interval. So whenever you have closed intervals, you saw that we have to find critical number and evaluate the values at the critical number and at the end points. Comparing those, we get our absolute maximum and minimum values. But when we have open interval, in that case, we have to analyze the first derivative to find the local maximum and minimum points. Perfect. You could also do second derivative test to find local maximum and minimum at the critical numbers. That could be the other approach. But I hope overall you have understood the concept. In the next video, we'll take up some application questions on optimization related to logarithmic and exponential functions. Thanks for your time and all the best.